Just anywhere you'd like with your arms. Feet can be flat or you can curl your toes under and lift your heels, your knees, any width you like. Relax your forehead and breathe. Spread the back of your lungs out. Breathe into the base of your belly. Smooth the breath out. Elongate the breath. Sink the hips back a little bit further towards the seat heart towards the floor. Just arrive. And roll it up slowly to your tabletop. And let's do our beautiful cat cows. Drop the heart down and forward, look forward. Curl the seat to the ceiling and exhale round. Use your breath like a wave. Make space between the vertebrae. Stay in one pose if it feels really nice. And let's meet in plank. Right leg back, left leg back. Hold your strong plank. Lengthen out the back of your neck. Push your heels back, pull your belly in. Check you're not locked out in the elbows and push up to down dog. Pedal out your feet if you'd like. Double knees or one knee at a time. Keep lengthening through the back. Keep pedaling it out. Now we're going to step that um, right leg forward, come into your 90-90 lunge. Tuck your hips up, stretch the arms up. Squeeze the seat under. An option to take your right hand on your right leg and stretch to the side. So stay nice and anchored in the lower part of your body. Nice and fluid here as you stretch over. Breathe into those left lungs. And you're going to bring those hips back, flex your front foot, hinge back for me. Option to reach for the toes. Turn those toes out to the right. Sink back a little lower. And land that foot onto the earth. Bring your hands to the inside. Let that hip flexor come down towards the floor on the left. Just stay, nowhere to be on this first round. Lift the heart a little bit forward. Up 
let gravity do its work on that hip. And curl your back toes up, and we're going to turn to the left side. Nice wide straddle. Place your hands on your hips or on the floor and go back and forth. So if the floor is too far away for you this morning, feel free to come up to the hips and go back and forth. Waking up the groins, the inner thighs. Lubricating the joints. Now turn back to the front, come down onto your knees and let's change sides. 90-90 lunge, other side. Tuck those hips up, squeeze the seat under and reach up. Left hand, left leg, side bend. Breathe. this lower part of your body nice and grounded. Keep squeezing the seat. Come on up. Flex that front foot and dip the hips back for me. You might reach for the floor, you might reach for the toes. Take your toes and turn them out to the side. Little IT band. And return and plant that foot down. Bring the hands to the inside and sink into that right hip flexor. Maybe push your knee into your arm on this side. You'll get a little activation on that left leg. Let the hips come down. Gina, you wanna let that hip come down a little bit more? Ah, tight hips. I know, I feel you. That's why you're here. I love that you're appreciating that. And when you're ready, lift up the back leg and let's turn to that side. And when you're ready, back and forth. Hands on the hips or hands on the floor. Or if you have a block, somewhere in between is nice. to have a jerky sensation, nice and smooth transition from one leg to the other. And turn to the front, bring the knees back. Let's meet in child's pose. Bring the hands over to the right side. Option to find your bind with your outside arm. Bring it around, palm up to the sky, to the opposite hip. Stretch those left fingertips. And come to the other side, nice and slow. And bind your outside arm if you like. Keep stretching those right fingertips far away from the right hip. And come back into the center. 
and let's just meet on another plank. You can do forearm plank or you can do straight arm plank. Again, make sure the elbows are not locked out. The hips are lifted, the core is on. Now let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down dog. <sighs> Peel it back with that chest, walk it out. Keep one heel down, bend one knee towards the mat and get really deep in that calf. See if you can look back at your foot on the floor, try to disappear the heel behind the toes and switch sides. And come down to your knees, right leg through, 90-90 stretch, one more time. Hips up to the sky, squeeze the booty. Let's do a little different variation now, little genie arms, go to one side and go to the other. Option to reach one arm back as you turn to that side. Beautiful, and flex that front foot. If you'd like a little bit deeper stretch, you can slide into your split variation. If you have a block, you can put a block under there. Keep those arms nice and solid if you took that um, choice today. Keep that front knee a little bit soft. Keep driving that front heel down and then gently pull it back. And we're going to land in our nice lizard pose. Option to take your rotation if you'd like now. You can bring that turn right hand up to the sky. If you'd like to come onto the bottom of your quadricep, lift your toes up and reach around for those toes. And come on back up. Beautiful. And let's turn to the side and do our little groin stretches. Hands can be wherever you'd like, remember. Nice length and spine. to the front, bring the knees down, and let's change sides. Turn those hips on, genie arms, and let's go to the left. If you need a little extra balance, you can tuck your back toes under. Light, reach the arm. Last one. Beautiful. And bring your hands down. Bring that foot all the way to the back. The hips all the way to the back. If you want your little strip, uh, split stretch, drive the heel forward until you feel a nice stretch. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Good. 
early in the morning, so if that's not a stretch for you, you feel free to do the first one that we did. And when you're ready, hands to the inside, bring that foot back. And reach that outside arm up if you'd like. Or you're not on the kneecap if you're thinking about lifting the back toes up and reach around for them. And bring it up and around and let's turn to that side, back into our little groin stretches. If you are really low, you can go to one side and lift up the toes and stay for a hot second. Dip the toes, come to the other side and do the same on that side. Lift the toes to the sky. And then just come back and forth. Four more. Four. Three. Two, and one, and when you're ready, just come on down to your knees. Now let's do child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, any expression for your arms. I'm gonna do prayer arms, elbows down, hands behind the head. Come back to that breath, send it to the back, send it to the lower back, to the deep core. Now then gently release, bring your forearms down and let's meet in your forearm plank. Shoulders over elbows hips up and let's just seesaw forward and back an inch crown of your head forward heels go back for 10 8 6 4 3 2 and one, come back to your knees. Beautiful. We're gonna come through plank and we're gonna go into pigeon pose or figure four stretch. If you know you don't like single pigeon, you're gonna come onto your back and do your figure four stretch. Otherwise, right knee to the outside of your right hand. Reach those left toes back, start out nice and tall. Shoulders and hips square. And if and when you're ready, you come down to the elbows. Maybe stack the fists and rest your forehead on your fist or the mat. 30 seconds here, I'll tell you when you're done. Another four, three, two, and gently rise, straighten your arms, straighten your back leg, come back through plank, and let's change sides. Left knee to the outside of your left hip, square off your leg, that back leg goes nice and long. Mm. Love this stretch. Didn't used to like this stretch, but the more I do it, less my body resists. 
So Sophie, I can't see your knee. Make sure it's on the outside of the hip over there. And you're trying to get this leg parallel to the front of the mat, which mine won't go. Don't force that. Down to the forearms, if you're ready. Thirty seconds here. Just breathe into that seat. Check you're not hunching up your shoulders, gripping your jaw. Four. Three, two, slowly come out of that. We'll meet in plank. We'll meet in down dog and we'll send that left leg up for a three-legged dog stretch. Lift it up into the sky, open the hip to the side and bend the knee if you'd like. and release and change sides. And come on down. Take your feet out into your Malasana squat. The so heels are on the mat, toes are off the mat. Hands are at your heart. 30 seconds here. Remember for some of us, this might not be very comfortable. You can come up a little higher or you can just stretch out. If you are comfortable, get into the ankles a little bit and go right and left. Ten seconds. Four, three, Two, hands down, stretch those legs. Ah, oh, take the tail right and left. Beautiful, and just come down onto your seat, onto your back, all the way down. Lay down, bring your right knee in, and find your ankle circles. Try to bring that knee in as close to your chest as you can. And ankle circles in both directions. And change sides. And let's send out your legs and roll to one side. Send out your top arm, bend your knees a little bit and just catch that top foot for a quad stretch. So here you can really get that sensation of pushing the hip forward, lengthening the kneecap away from the hip. Drawing the heel in close to the seat. For four, three, two, and gently release. And you can turn to the other side, and we're going to do the other side. Try not to let that knee be any higher than hip height. Keep driving the hip forward, lengthening the kneecap away. 
for four, three, two, and roll onto your back. And we're gonna do that right knee hug one more time. Bring it in. And let's take a supine twist, bring that arm out to the side and take your twist. Option to look over your arm, option to bring the arm to a diagonal reach back, get a little deeper into that side. four, three, two, and come back in, change legs. And when you're ready, take it across. Find your variation with the arm. Hug the knees, do a little bit of core work. Hug your knees like you're trying to kiss your knees, really close with the head and neck up towards those legs. And let's keep the curl in the back and reach the arms back and the legs forward. You've got 30 seconds. Let's go, take it back, circle the arms around, bring it in. That lower back pressing down into the floor. Halfway. The four, three, two, and hug it in and relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Rock on your back a little bit. and then roll all the way up to your toes. And if you like that rock and roll, do a few of these. Get that lovely spine massage. If it feels lovely on your floor, if it doesn't, just land right here and straighten out your legs for me. You're gonna bring the right leg into a little tree pose. Left leg is straight out in front of you and just reach for that left leg, relax. Check in with your right knee, see if you can relax it for me. Beautiful. You're going to roll yourself up and bring your right hand behind your right hip. Stretch your arm up and then reach it right in between the knee and the foot until you get this nice stretch in your upper back. So feel like you're pulling something and resisting into the back here. You should feel that all the way down the left side of your shoulder, your your lats and come on up and change sides. Flex that front foot. This foot can be anywhere that it would like to be. Reach for the front foot, make sure it's up to the ceiling, nice and square and just relax once you arrive. Your heart is sinking towards your leg. The crown of your head is reaching towards your foot. And you're breathing into that left leg, relaxing it. Just 
and gently roll yourself up, take your left hand behind your left hip, stretch the arm up and then reach diagonally right between those legs, between the knee and the foot, right in that center and stretch right here. Keep that nice right sitting bone grounded so that you really do feel that stretch. Beautiful, and come on up. Bring the soles of your feet together, elbows into the insides. Maybe butterfly the knees out and down, up and down. And we are done, my friends. How do you feel? I know how I feel after this 30 minutes. If I could just do it every single morning for 30 minutes, <laughs> hard. But you showed up, so I know that you were up for it today. When you're ready, just cross those legs comfortably. One inhale, close it down with palms together and exhale, namaste.